तो प्रीवियसली आई हैव शोकेस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ कस्टम रूम्स बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉइड 11, 12 एंड 13 फॉर वन प्लस सेवेंटी डिवाइस एंड आई हैव सीन दैट यू गाइज हैव एंजॉयड इट अ लॉट एंड रिसेंटली आफ्टर स्क्रोलिंग ऑन एक्स डी ए फोरम ऑफ वन प्लस सेवेंटी आई केम अक्रॉस दिस कस्टम रूम नेम एंशियंट ओ एस एंड आई वॉज रियली एक्साइटेड एंड टाइज बाई सी दिस नेम बिकॉज आई हैवन सीन इट प्रीवियसली सो दिस द रिव्यू वीडियो एंड इंस्टॉलेशन वीडियो फॉर एंशियंट ओ एस सो द स्टार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो विल कंटेन द इंटायर ओवर व्यू ऑफ दिस रोम एंड एट द एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस रोम इजिली ऑन योर वन प्लस सेवेंटी डिवाइस सो मेक श्योर टू वॉच द वीडियो टू दी एंड टू गेट द एंटायर क्लैरिटी of this room and whether you should go on and install this room on your device or not so without wasting for time let's head straight to the video so my name is rohit and you're watching snaptech so let's get started so first let's talk about the looks so this room is based on android 12.1 so basically the overall interface of this entire room is similar to any other custom room based on android 12 as well as you get to see this smooth and one of a kind interface like i haven't seen something like this in a long time in the wallpaper section you also get this option to select your icons as per your theme and it works really well and give this seamless look to your entire Device. So I didn't expect it this kind of look with this room, but I really loved it still. And of course, it gives you an option to even switch between dark mode and light mode performance. So overall performance of this room was really amazing. Like I have been using it since past four days for almost everything, and everything worked really well. I didn't expect it this kind of performance with a custom room based on Android 12. Well, as now there are many rooms available for like Android 13 as well. But this room turned out to be totally opposite. Like before this, I have also showcased a lot of custom rooms based on Android 12 on this channel. But I can say that. This is far most the best ever custom room based on Android 12, and even you will get to know why I'm saying this once we go ahead in this video. So I didn't got to see any kind of lag or any kind of problem while using this room on my OnePlus 70 device, as well as it also got a really good Geek Benchmark scores as well compared to the other OnePlus 70 device. So yeah, it was the best thing to see security options. So it comes with a working fingerprint as well as face unlock, and as we know previously, almost every custom room I have installed comes with the fingerprint, but it doesn't comes with the face unlock feature, and I was really missing it because. it comes in handy when you are using your phone like regularly and you want to unlock your phone and still you have to put your fingerprint when you can just use face unlock in the Tok OS but i can say that even fingerprint on this device works really well as well as the face unlock and face unlock also registers your face very quickly i don't know if there is lack of security or something like that but while i was trying to unlock this phone through face unlock or fingerprint it worked really well there was no issues there was no complaint and it was perfectly smooth so now the best feature i had to say in this custom room like i haven't seen in any any custom room before it comes with a working one OnePlus camera. So almost in all my custom room video, I get a lot of comments based on how we can install a OnePlus camera on a custom room. And I used to get very upset when I didn't got to see the OnePlus camera on any of custom rooms. But as a replacement, I used to use GCam for getting my work done. Meanwhile, but as soon as I opened this camera, I got to realize the interface of the OnePlus camera, and I was really baffled. Everything worked pretty well. Sometimes when you switch to portrait mode, your camera app crash. But once you open it again and use the portrait mode, it works really well. So yeah, there is a little bug, but I think it. Will get the work done perfectly. Customization. So it comes with a lot of customization option from Ancient OS itself, like customizable header, status bar customizations, and also got some miscellaneous options such as unlocking higher FPS in games by spoofing your device, as well as unlimited phone storage by spoofing your device as a Pixel device. So yeah, if you want to get the unlimited storage option on your Google Drive and other Google apps, then go with this room. As well as if you are into gaming a lot, this room will help you well. So even the gaming performance in this room was really well. Like I used it to play Apex Legends, and it, I didn't saw any lag. It was working well on very high graphics, not realistic but very high graphics in high FPS. And I played it for a while, and I didn't got to see a lot of heating issues or something like that. And my game worked really well throughout the entire game for almost half an hour. And this room also comes with a Wildwine L1 security. That means you can use all your banking apps as well as you can watch Netflix at whatever quality you want, and you won't see any security issues while using this room. And also gives you an option to change between the frame rate while you are using it, so you can set it permanently to 60 or you can make it go from 60 to 90 as As per your usage, so I have to say this room has been the best ever room I have used so far, and I can say that I can use this room as my daily driver. Be having much of an issue, and it resolves all the problem we had in the previous custom room, such as fingerprint, face unlock, camera, gaming performance, high FPS in games, Google storage, and much more. So I'll of course say you should go ahead and try this room for yourself to experience the overall feel of this room. So in this next part, I will show you how you can install this room on your OnePlus 70. So the only thing required to install this room on your OnePlus 70 device will be an unlock bootloader. If you don't know how to do that, I'll be link on top right corner of this video. Go there and lock your bootloader, and then continue along with this video. So once you have unlocked your bootloader, come on this XGA website. You'll get a link in description below for this website. And once you're on this website, just scroll down until you find this download section. And once you're on this download section, download the ROM from here. Once you do that, just scroll down, and you can see the download latest builds link. Just click that and close this ad. 
Once you do that, you will be on this website. And after that, just click on this download button on right side and just scroll down to find Hot Dog B, which is the code name for OnePlus 70 device. And as you can see over here, it's written Hot Dog B. I'll click on that and I'll be taken to another tab. Over here, I can see the download file for my OnePlus 70. So if you install this room without any additional G apps, you can go with the vanilla version if you want Google apps and other play store and other features in your device and go with the G apps version. And once you click that, your room file will start downloading in 5 seconds. And once it's done, come back to original XGA website and then download the recovery by clicking over here. And once you do that, it will start downloading as well. And once you download both the file, I will highly suggest you to keep it in the same folder as it will be easier for you to navigate as I have done over here. So once you have done this process, you will need to put your device into fast boot mode. I will do that right now. Once you are on your device, make sure to shut it down first. I will do that right now. Power off. And once your device is off, just keep on holding volume up, volume down and power key all at once to boot into fast boot mode. As you can see here, I have booted into my fast boot mode and you can see device state is unlocked. That means my bootloader is unlocked and I can proceed installing this ROM on my device. So once you are in your fast boot mode, you can connect your device to your PC. I am going to do that right now. So once you have connected your device to your PC, move back to your PC again. So once you are on your PC again, you have connected your phone in fast boot mode to your PC. Just click on the search icon on top and type in CMD and press enter. And once you are on your CMD window, type in fastboot devices and press enter. And if you can see a strings of number along with fastboot written beside it, that means your PC has detected a device in fastboot mode. And if not, there will be some problem. So you can fix that easily by clicking on the video link on top right corner. And after that, your PC will definitely detect your device in fastboot mode. And once it's done, your PC has detected your device in fastboot mode. Type in this command. So I'll just take this window. On the right bottom because I want to see this recovery name. So you have to type in fastboot space flash space recovery and as we want to flash this recovery we will type this name exactly the same. So just because you guys are not much into this ROM installation I will do it in a basic way. Just click on this file name right click then show more option then rename and just copy the name by clicking ctrl plus c and then open your CMD window again and then paste the file name using Ctrl plus V and it's an image file so at the end just type in .img and press enter to install this recovery on your device and as you can see over here our recovery is getting installed so it has been done so now we can move back again to our device to boot into our recovery and once your recovery is installed and you are back to your device you will be on this kind of fast boot screen and you will be on start so keep pressing volume down key until you reach to this recovery mode option on top and once you do that press the power key to boot into our recovery which we just installed and as you can see over here we have booted into our recovery and you will get these kind of option on your recovery so all you have to do is to go to the factory reset so you can just click on the factory reset then again click on it then format data so yeah, this room will delete all data on your device so make sure you have backed up everything important that you want. So once it's done, just click on back over here on top and then click on apply update which will be second option. And once you do that, click on apply from ADB and your device will be in ADB side load mode that means we can install our ROM through side load mode now. So once it's done, you need to again move back to your PC and you can see my device doing this whole process on right bottom corner of your screen. So once you're on your PC again, next step is to install the ROM. So first type in ADB devices in the same DMD window as well or you can open the new one, it doesn't matter. And once you write ADB devices, you can see these kind of commands on your screen and you will see a list of device attached along with side load written beside it. That means your PC has detected your device in ADB side load mode. And once it's done, you need to write this specific command ADB space side load Space. and you need to just copy the name of this file just like we did with the recovery just click on this file right click and go to show more options rename ctrl c to copy the entire name as it is and then open the cmd window again and paste the name of the file but this time instead of img we gonna write dot zip zip because it's a zip file so at the end we will type dot zip and press enter to sideload this rom onto your oneplus 70 device and once you do that, it will take some time so you can just sit back and relax and if you are new to my channel, a sub to the channel will be really appreciated.
So after 47 percent, your installation process will be done. It's nothing to worry about as it gets completed after that. So once it's done, you will need to move back to your device once again. So once you're on your device, you'll be on this kind of screen. You can see over here. And once you do that, just click on this back icon on top. And after that, you can just reboot into your system now as your Chrome has been installed. So as it's your first boot, it will take some time for your device to turn on. As you can already see the boot logo of the newly installed Ancient OS on our OnePlus 70 device. And we can already see the boot logo of the Ancient OS for OnePlus 70 device. And as you can see, we have successfully booted into our device. And at this point of time, you can just disconnect your device from your PC as your ROM has been installed. So our ROM has been successfully installed now. So this was my review video on the Ancient OS based on Android 12.1 for OnePlus 70 device. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please drop a like below. And if you're new to my channel and if you're interested in tech related content like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And if you have some idea in your mind or if you want me to try something else, please make sure to comment down below. I will surely make a video on that particular topic as well. So this is it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. SnapTech signing out.